Hi, I'm Shanna Tay Bergeron with Colorado Mountain Medical, and today we have Dr. Rebecca Adocchio, board certified endocrinologist from our practice, and we want to talk about osteoporosis. What a mouthful. Dr. Adocchio, what is osteoporosis? Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me today. Osteoporosis is a condition of the bone where they become weakened and are more prone to breaking or what we might refer to as brittle bone disease. So who would get screened for osteoporosis and how would someone be diagnosed with this condition? Those are great questions. Um, you may not be aware that osteoporosis is actually quite prevalent throughout the country and also within our community. So it is important that we're screening for this condition. Uh, we currently recommend that all women who are over the age of 65 and postmenopausal undergo screening. We also recommend that to consider screening men over the age of 70. If an adult over the age of 50 has specific risk factors that would increase their risk of osteoporosis or suffering a fracture, we would recommend screening them as well. In order to identify osteoporosis, there are actually three ways that we can diagnose the condition. One is through our screening tool, which is called a bone density scan or a DEXA scanner. And that's something that a primary care doctor can order. We can order, an orthopedic surgeon may order that test as well. And then the other ways we can diagnose it, one is if someone suffers what we call a fragility fracture, and that would be a break of the bone that should otherwise not have happened in a healthy individual or a healthy skeleton. The third way we can diagnose it is in patients who have something commonly referred to as osteopenia or pre-osteoporosis based on their bone density scan, but that have increased risk factors that create a, um, a high risk of fracture that we can also say is an equivalent of osteoporosis. So multiple ways to diagnose, mm -hmm. to get scanned. Do you always have to go to an endocrinologist to be diagnosed with osteoporosis or have the discussions with your physician? Not always. Again, primary care doctors are so important in identifying disease in our patient population, and they're going to be the main ones that are going to identify the condition through screening mechanisms. Many of those patients can undergo treatment with their primary care doctor, but some would benefit from coming to see an endocrinologist. Sometimes they may need additional workup to look for other causes of osteoporosis. If they're not responding to standard therapies with their primary care doctor, that's another reason they may be referred. And we also receive a lot of referrals from our orthopedic surgeon colleagues in the Valley. If someone's undergoing a major procedure and they wanna make sure their bone is as healthy as possible so they can get through that procedure and heal well. Thank you so much for all of this insightful information. If you're someone who meets some of the criteria that Dr. Docio spoke to or suspect you might have osteoporosis, please reach out to your provider and begin the discussions. Thank you. Thank you for having me.